hello there hello to you beautiful and wonderful people you're welcome back to my youtube channel and if you are new here please you are humbly welcome please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video in this video i will be sharing with you how to make a traditional beer in ghana this particular beer originates from the northern part of Ghana and it is popularly called Pito in Ghana. What you are seeing right now is red millet. Red millet is the main ingredient for making Pito, traditional beer. The red millet goes through a lot of processes to get it in this form, which is the dry germinated red millet. So later, this millet will be grinded into powdered form and then be used in making the pito. So you are welcome to the pito brewery house. This is where my auntie brews her pito to sell the local traditional beer. So my cousin will be taking us through the process. What we have here is the powdered millet which he has just poured into the water. So right now, he's just mixing the millet flour with the water. He has to make sure that all the flour mix completely well with the water. This particular beer requires a lot of water, so we are just going to our neighbor's house to get some water to come and continue with the preparation of the beer. Ah. Yo, <laughs> yo, I should not call it. Huh? Please don't forget to subscribe ah. and like the video. So the next thing to do is training and that is exactly what we are doing. Mm. So after the straining, the next thing we will do is to fetch the mixture that settle at the bottom of our clay pot into a different pot and then boil it for some time. We will leave the mixture on fire to boil for about 2 hours. So right now he's just trying to control the mixture from boiling over. Finally, our mixture is ready and we are just transferring it back into the clay pot. It's a bit late now. It's a little past 8 p.m. So, we'll transfer everything that we boiled back into the pot and then mix and leave it to ferment overnight. Hopefully tomorrow, my auntie will be around to take us through the rest of the process. Hello, so this is the next day and my auntie is finally here to help us through the process. So right now she's just checking to see whether our mixture has fermented well. So she checked and it has fermented very well. So the next thing we are going to do is strain the mixture, then boil this mixture to make our beer. Ma 
so sana kuyen ku intende ya to ko tsuba nani eh nene So right now, Auntie is just fetching the liquid from the mixture. She will later strain the rest of the mixture to extract the remaining liquid from it and then add it to what she has already started boiling. And then continue with the boiling process. Right now, Auntie is getting her basket ready to strain the mixture. If you are enjoying the video, please kindly give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and please do not forget to subscribe to the channel and click on that notification bell and select all so that you get notified anytime I post a video. Come on, 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 Thank you so much for watching. Akia lady, 
please kindly subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet like the video comment and share with family and friends and please the next time you find yourself in northern ghana please do not forget to give yourself that special treat with our northern beer the pito see you again in my next video bye bye